Recently, a lot of the state saw rain, but it's still pretty dry throughout Oklahoma. We're talking with our extension beef cattle specialist, Dave Lawman, about how producers can get through some of these drier conditions. Uh, Dave, uh, walk me through a little bit about what you guys are doing here and um, how producers can get through some of these drier conditions. Sure. <clears throat> this is a project with lactating cows, uh, fall calving cows, and we've got them, we've wintered them in the dry lot here. You know, our objective in this project is to measure maintenance energy requirements, st study feed requirements, and so on. However, it, it, it's a management strategy that, that is an opportunity uh, for some people to keep cows around on a more of a concentrate type diet, which we can talk about, uh, but and really stretch their hay supply if they're still in, in a, say, a drought area. Uh, it's, it's drier, they're running short on hay supply. So talk a little bit about how uh, producers can take advantage of these management practices. Well, you know, why is it an option? Well, I, one reason why it's a, it's a nice opportunity this year is because the grain prices are still relatively inexpensive. Uh, we have, in this ration, we probably have our cost is under, right under $200 per ton. We can keep a cow in these pens with her calf at side for somewhere in the neighborhood of $1.20 a day. Uh, and so, you know, it's not inexpensive, uh, but it's not, it's not uh, over the top either in terms of maintenance. Hay, when hay is short, it gets expensive as well. Uh, so the, uh, this ration that we're feeding is about 32% uh, hay, has 31% dry distiller's grains, about 23% cracked corn, and then there's a liquid molasses supplement in it, and then there's a little bit of a dry supplement in it. So that, that's the diet that we're feeding. Uh, and these cows, these lactating cows, are getting about 20, 19 to 20 pounds of that dry ration per day. And the calves are consuming somewhere around four or five pounds of it. Calves are gaining about two pounds a day. So it seems to be working very well. Like you said, you're, you're practicing on these cows out here. Uh, talk a little bit about some of the principles that producers need to think about when they're implementing this practice. Well, if you're going to put a cow in a dry lot and feed a diet that's more, more concentrate, less roughage, you have to be careful. You have to have good management. So uh, we've got 32% hay in this ration. Well, you have to have some hay in the diet to keep the room and healthy and keep a cow from bloating and foundering and so on. You have to feed the cattle every day, and preferably you'd feed them the same time every day. So you have to be very consistent from that standpoint. You can't, you know, like we, we have a lot of producers like to feed range cubes uh, three times a week, for example. Well, that, that won't work in a situation like this. It just requires more intensive management. All in all, you know, the performance of the cattle says that it's, it's doing pretty well. And it's, if a dry, if a lactating cow like this were receiving all the hay she wanted to consume, she'd probably eat in the neighborhood of 30 pounds a day. These cows are getting six pounds of hay every day. And so we're really able to stretch that hay supply uh, much further by using this management strategy. All right, thanks Dave. And for a, a link to a fact sheet about limit feeding, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.